I'm all about good, easy to use tools. Who isn't, right? Especially ones that help me get things done faster and more efficiently. Well, I think I've just found another awesome tool that checks all the boxes. And one more thing, some of you may get this tool for free. The plugin is called Store Growth, the one you see on the screen right now. It's a brand new plugin and it has built-in fly card, direct checkout, sales countdown timer, upsell order bump, floating notification bar, free shipping rules, stock count bar, live sales notification, quick view and buy one get one modules. It has a free version and it has a pro version. This is a pro version and as you see, these are the current prices. One side license is $99 per year. 50 site license is $399 per year. These are the current prices, but as I mentioned before, some of you will get an option to get this tool for free. That is, if you take a look at the description of this video, then there is a link to the premium version and there is a coupon code that will grant the first 10 users free access to store growth. So if you're quick, then follow the link, use the coupon and you're good to go. Now let's install the plugin. And after activating it, you'll see this welcome screen here. You can choose whether to get updates or share essential information with the developers. Next, you can choose the modules you would like to be activated or deactivated. Just take a look at the descriptions and then you can decide. When everything is done, then you can go to the dashboard and then you'll see this menu on the left, which allows you to open up every module separately and it allows you to customize it. I'm going to take a quick look at all the modules. First, countdown timer. You'll see you can change the countdown heading. And this is the heading here, 20% off. You can change it here. You can choose whether to display it on the shop page or on the single product page. This is the preview. Under the design, you can customize colors and choose the font. Nothing complicated here. Currently, there are two templates for you to choose from whether it's this one or this one here. Now, if you activate it, then pay attention that in order to display the countdown timer, you have to go to the product editing page, scroll down, there is a countdown timer, set the product discount, discount dates, update it, and then when you see the product, you'll see the timer here. Now let's go to the direct checkout. What will it do for you? It will add a buy now button either here or on a shop page here. If you click on it, it will redirect your customers directly to the checkout page. So there is no WooCommerce card page in the middle. Here you can customize what is the label of the button, whether to display add to cart as buy now button, buy now with add to cart, buy now for specific products only. If you activate this one here, then you'll see there is a direct checkout button on the single product pages and you can activate it for specific products. I'm going to activate buy now with add to cart. Now, check out redirect, whether to redirect to a legacy checkout page or fly card checkout page. What will it do? Let's test. Let's save it. And now when I click on buy now button, the fly card with the checkout page will open up. I can fill the fields and be done with it. Once again, you can customize all the colors and font family. And this is the preview on the right here. Next one is floating bar. This one here. As you see, it's on top of my website and looks like this. I can customize the text, choose whether the bar type is sticky or normal, position top or bottom. I can choose the banner icon or upload my own icon, whether to display the button on desktop or mobile. This is the button here, button text, button action. That is what happens when the button is clicked, whether to close the banner or redirect URL. I can also add the countdown, for example, from today until March the 2nd. I can choose to display it and you'll see it displays here. I can add a coupon code and this time I can choose between the coupons that are already entered to the system. There are some display rules for the banner, whether to display it on a desktop or mobile. There is a trigger after 7 seconds or after scroll. I'm going to set the trigger to 3 seconds. And there is a page targeting rules, whether to display on everywhere or on selected pages. Under the design, you can set the banner height, font family and colors. So let's save it. Let's refresh the page. And as you see, the banner appeared with a countdown timer and the coupon code. 
Next one is fly cart. I already showed you what is a fly cart. Let's add something to the cart and you'll see this one here is a fly cart with a checkout page. You can choose whether to display it as a side cart or centered pop-up. Let's test the centered pop-up. Let's refresh the page. And there you go. I can choose whether to display the product image, remove icon, product price, quantity picker, coupon, and I can choose whether to auto open the cart panel. Some additional design options for you, position, cart icon, and colors. And this was the fly cart. Before I proceed with the video, don't forget to smash that like button down below here. It means a lot to me and it also helps my channel. So I would appreciate your help. Next one is free shipping rules. I can add free shipping banner on the top. For example, as you see, there is a banner. You have successfully acquired free shipping and the settings for it are here. Bar position top, bar type normal or sticky, discount type, free shipping or discount amount, cart minimum amount. You can set it here, choose the banner icon, change the text here and here. You can choose whether to display the call to action button, call to action name, and target URL. As before, you can change the trigger settings, whether it's after a few seconds or after scroll, and page targeting rules. Under the design, once again, banner height, font family, and colors. Next one is quick view, and what is a quick view? Is this one here. If you click on it, the product opens up in a quick view, there are arrows for you to scroll through the products and all the settings are here. Whether to enable the zoom box, modal effect. Next, you can customize what to display inside the quick view contents, title, description, product image, price, excerpt, product meta and add to cart button. Here are the button settings. That is label, position, after add to cart, before add to cart or center on the image. You can activate quick view icon. Let's save it, refresh the page, and you'll see instead of the text, it is displayed here. I can choose whether to enable close button and enable view details button. As you see, if I enable it, you'll see the preview here. Once again, some design options for you. So let's save it and let's move to the stock bar. Stock bar is this one here, total sold, 43 products and currently available 27. This is the stock count and you'll see the stock bar here. I can choose whether to display it on the archive pages, product page and whether to display it on variation product pages also. Some design options for you. Bar color, border color, stock bar height, stock display format. Either it's above stock bar or below stock bar like this one here. I like above stock bar more. You can also disable the stock status. As you see, if you disable it, this text will be hidden. There are three templates for you. Just choose the one you like the most. So let's save it and let's move to the sales notifications. What is a sale notification? Is this notification here on the left. So you can choose whether to enable the pop-up you can stop pop-up visibility on close, that is if someone closes the pop-ups, they are not displayed anymore. And you can choose whether to enable it for the mobiles. I'm going to disable it for the mobiles. Next, I can choose between templates. Currently, there are five templates. I'm using this one here. Under the design, there is image style, image radius, width, position, pop-up style, and pop-up position. Currently, it's on the left bottom, but you can choose between right, bottom, left top and right top. You can choose the products, what are displayed in the pop-up, whether it's selected products or products from the latest orders. If you want to select your own products, then you can do it here. Just choose the ones you see fit and add it here. Next, add the first names to display it on the pop-up. That is this one, Mark Wood just purchased. If you don't want to display the names, then just delete it. And in this case, pop-up says someone just purchased this or that product. But you can add your own random names here and also the virtual location in a similar way. As you see, the template displays 
Mark Wu just purchased Nike Air Max Plus from, and this is the location here. Next, there are visibility controls as before, whether to display it everywhere or on selected pages, whether to display it to logged in or logged out or everyone. Just choose the rules here. I'm going to choose show everywhere. Under the message, you can customize a pop up. These are the short codes you can use. And there are some time options for you. How many notifications per page, display time, next time display, initial time delay, and whether to loop it or not. So these were the sale notifications. Next are buy one, get one rules. You can allow remove offer product from the cart page, whether to display the regular price. You can choose the badge icon. Under the lists, you can create your own campaigns. For example, let's create one. Let's add a title, buy two to get one. Select target products. The product is called a lamp. The deal type is buy this product and get another one. Offer product is this product. Discount, whether it's a percent or free, I'm going to add a free product. Next, I'm going to choose minimum quantity for the products to be purchased. So if you purchase at least two, then you'll get this product for free. I can choose whether the BOGO type is products or categories. I'm going to select products. I can choose an alternate option for the offered products. Schedule, for example, from today until March the 2nd. And now set up some messages. That is target category is lightning. Buy two units of any product from this category and get one unit free gift is the message. It's not correct one at the moment, but just to demonstrate it, I'm going to go here. You'll see this is the message. When I open up this product, it displays free gift. This one here. Let's add two products to the cart. Let's go to the cart page and you'll see this one here is displayed as a free product. Let's change the quantities to one. You'll see no free gift is added. Let's test one more time. Well, awesome. Now let's go to the checkout and you'll see it's also here. This way you can create all sorts of campaigns as you like. Okay, last one to go. And this is the upsell order bump. Let's create one so I can demonstrate what it is. Let's give it the title, for example, demo bump. Select bump type, whether it's for specific product or categories. Now I'm going to search for target products. That is this one here, but I can choose more. That is, if this product is added to the cart, then I'm going to offer 20% discount. Now under the design, you can customize the look of it. You'll see this is the preview. Although I'm going to change the product, I'm going to select this one here. So let's save it. And since I already have a golden lamp added to the cart, I'm going to refresh the page, scroll down, and you'll see this is the order upsell bump. And when I select it, it will be added to the cart. You'll see it here. It contains the discount and I'm good to go to place the order. There you have it, an awesome tool that lets you add all kinds of cool features to your site. It's super easy to use and the best part, it's lightweight, so it won't slow down your website at all. Now before you go, wait, if you find this tutorial helpful then press thumbs up, this one here, and take a look at this side of the screen, it contains two good videos, I think you may find them useful. Meanwhile, take care, bye.